breaking all hell, breaking loose after Trump's major announcement. Hell yeah, Trump means business by Cat Stevens for FreedomDaily.com. The United States has a three-branch system of government is set up the, that way for the purpose of no branch having too much power. That means that all three groups need to learn to play nice. Otherwise, progress will be virtually impossible. With two of the branches made up of primarily elected officials and the third branch nominated and confirmed by the other two branches, it's a pretty foolproof system for making sure that no one branch gets too power hungry. But since nothing is foolproof uh, to a sufficiently talented fool, the government was actually shut down after a complete deadlock just days ago. The Republicans and Democrats that we elected to represent us were too stubborn to come to an agreement, and it left us all wondering why. These are supposedly all well-educated and adjusted adults, and yet Congress was uh, closer to resembling a verbal battle of dodgeball than a place that housed a productive dialogue. Part of the problem stems from the cheap tricks that some of the representatives insisted on playing in order to try to get their own way. One of those representatives was foolish enough to try and pull a fast one on the president, and as he's apt to do, the president called him out on Twitter for it. Fox News reports that the POTUS didn't uh, pull any punches when calling Representative Schumer to account. President Trump fired back Tuesday night at Senate M Minority Leader Chuck Schumer for offering, then rescinding, a deal to support border wall funding in return for an immigration package that protects illegal immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. Crying Chuck Schumer fully understands, especially after his humiliating defeat, that if there is no wall, there is no DACA. The president tweeted around 11 p.m., we uh, must have safety and security together with a strong military for our great people. Absolutely. Earlier Tuesday evening, White House Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Hidley uh, slammed Schumer during an appearance on Fox News outnumbered overtime. He comes over here with a phony plan and a fake promise, Gidley said, referring to Schumer. Uh, that is exactly the kind of activity that causes bad blood and worse working relationships between the two parties trying to inhabit the same political space. If they can't come to an agreement, those of us paying their salaries need to be assured that it's all being done on the up and up and that we're not out uh, time and money because uh, people are playing childish games while on the clock. Thankfully, the ploy wasn't successful and everyone was able to see through Schumer's overtly transparent attempt to, at manipulation. A Schumer aide confirmed to Fox News on Tuesday that the leader withdrew his offer of a boost in funding for the president's proposed border wall. It was initially made during negotiations over the government spending bill with the president last Friday, the aide said. Schumer's office says he pulled the wall offer on uh, Sunday. But Gidley said they didn't take the offer seriously, saying the Democrats offered less than one-tenth of what was needed to secure the border in his bogus negotiation. The administration wants $18 billion for a border wall. You can't rescind money you never really offered in the first place, he said. After a three-day government shutdown, Democrats agreed to reopen the government. Monday, after Republicans assured them that the Senate would soon consider legislation that would protect the so-called dreamers. During Tuesday's press briefing at the White House, Press Secretary Sarah, Hunt, uh, Sarah Sanders actually said the uh, president opposes an immigration proposal brokered by Republicans uh, Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina and Jeff Flake of Arizona and Democratic Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois. In a bipartisan meeting here at the White House two weeks ago, we outlined a path forward on four issues, serious border security, an end to chain migration, the cancellation of the outdated and unsafe visa lottery, 
and a permanent solution to DACA, Sanders said. Unfortunately, the Flake Graham Durbin agreement does not meet, meet these uh, benchmarks. The thing about sharing a platform or any political responsibility with those on the opposite side of the issue is that there almost always has to be compromise. We all hate to hear and hate and we hate doing it even more, but if nobody budges, we end up with a deadlock and at that point the taxpayers are just paying salaries for them to stand around and argue with one another. President Trump decided that he was willing to give some ground on the DACA issue because he believes that for the most part there is no imminent threat to the American people if they stay. In fact, normal legal status might actually make any lawbreakers among them easier to pin down since the sanctuary cities won't do them any good. However, if the Democrats insist on not giving any ground on their side, they'll be to blame for yet another travesty of justice by gumming up the works and keeping vital governmental business uh, from going forward in Washington. I say shut it down completely. We don't need most of the crap that's the government right now. You know what I'm saying? Enough is enough. Big government. I thought we're opposed to that. But Again, you see the Democrats, uh, but Trump's not going to agree for uh, chain migration. I doubt that, highly doubt that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.